What is going on, gentlemen? We are back working on the Hershey 2020 Hypercoaster, and we are nearing the end of this thing. Got one more episode to do, which feels nice because it'll be it would be really cool to have a finished product uh, to show for, I guess, and finally get something uploaded to the workshop. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe. It really does help me out. We're nearing 100, so that would be really cool for me. I know it's not a big deal at all, but that would be cool for me. So if you would like to, you know, join us on these adventures we're going to be going on again. I've said it before, we'll be getting into the parks here this season. Carowind's here in two weeks, baby. Uh, subscribe because we're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to have a lot of footage and content to put out then. And I'm hoping, and it's probably going to happen, and I do apologize, but the Planet Coaster stuff might slow down a little bit just because I'm going to have to be working on putting together those videos and that footage, this, that, or the other thing. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out, and I do appreciate the living hell out of you if you do do that. And, yeah, so what's going on um, these days in the Plan Co. community? Well, we got that quality of life update, and I don't have too much to say about it just because I think a lot of the change... Well, they said they improved the Theme Maker's Toolkit, and that doesn't mean shit to me because I don't download that crap. I just don't trust it, and it, it, from what I'm hearing is it either helped a lot or it didn't. And a lot of that is subjective to, you know, your computer build, this, that, or the other thing. So other things they said was they, up, up, you know, they helped up the, um, the load speed and all that stuff for the parks. I have noticed that, but I also don't have parks with, like, a ton of items in it. So I really, it, it really didn't affect me much, and I could give less of a shit. As long as they're working on fixing the game, I'm totally here for it. So, that's my opinion on that. Really, I, again, don't care too much. But, let's talk about this project. So, I started building this station here. And I, I was going to kind of try and recreate the station that we've seen in the renderings. And I guess I can put screenshots of that up on the screen here. And I wasn't, I'm not too sure how loyal I'm going to stay to the exact station that we see in the renderings that Hershey has dropped for this project. Just because we don't have a whole lot to go off of. But we do, I do know it's going to be like the kind of brick, kind of, you know, cream-colored stucco architecture stuff that I like. So I'm thinking I'm probably just going to try and make something kind of similar to it, just to doll it up and make it look nice, yada, yada, yada. We also don't know where a transfer track is going to go, so I just plopped one down here because what is a realistic roller coaster without a transfer track? I think that's a, that's a detail I see a lot of other creators, especially the newer ones, neglect. So it's something I always try to incorporate into my, my rides. So... I, I'm leaving the station as is that you see right now. I'm not going to do too much with that. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and, you know, the next episode will be the station build, foliage, all that stuff, and tie up all the loose ends, make it look nice and pretty. And then we'll have a final video out, and this thing will be done. That should be done here. I'm aiming for some time this week, but I will be very busy with, you know, having a life outside of making Planet Coaster videos. I apologize if that is what you live for. Um, get your priorities in check if that is the case. But... We'll go ahead and, you know, finish that up, address that. I did start doing terraforming and painting here, and I didn't like the presets that I had in the scenario editor, editor. So here I am going through fixing that, you know, putting in a lot of sands and dirts and rock-colored stuff. And just because if you've ever been on a real roller coaster, they don't just fly straight through the woods and over grass. There's, you know, fencing, 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 fencing. There's fencing, and then there's open area, and, you know, you have the clearance issues, and... Yes, so that's what we're working on here, and I'm not going too in-depth with, you know, doing crazy foliage. I just kind of want to fill it in, make it look nice. By no means is this what, is that what the actual foliage around the coaster looks like in real life or is going to look like, but again, this is just kind of a rendering, and I wanted to doll it up and make it look nice. <clears throat> right here, we're terraforming and putting in that little man-made river that's going to go around the coaster, and I have a really cool, I'm sorry if you hear a lot of paper in the background, I'm looking at all these uh, you know layouts and renderings I have printed up, but um, I'll throw that up on the screen here Th This one right here you can see it gives a really good idea for what that man-made river is going to be and it kind of leads into the Kisses fountain and plaza that you're gonna walk straight to once you en enter the park with the new entrance and everything So working on that here, and we do get to work on the fountain here in a second And I'll address that once the footage comes up on the time-lapse but Yes, yeah, so we did the terraforming. There's a cool hill and I'll show that here Again, uh, there's a cool, there's like a, well, a cool hill, yeah, it's so fucking gnarly, it's, it's a hill. There's a hill that kind of blockades, or I guess it acts as some sort of barrier maybe, between the expanded part of the park 
and the new entrance and the coaster. So I went ahead and filled that in. Right here, we're just filling in the, well, we're building the fountain, but I need to actually make this a lot larger. Well, not a lot, but a little bit bigger. And it, what I really was just doing here is focusing on having everything be kind of centered and even and look like an actual circle. But this is going to be a little bit bigger. I do need to add a few more layers to the fountain here just because upon looking at more renderings, and I will put one up on the screen right now, uh, it needs to be a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit wider, and just scale it a little bit more properly. But this was a really good start. So this is exactly what it's going to look like. It's just going to be on a bigger scale, and I'll do that off camera. I'm not going to waste video time in the next episode fixing all that and everything. But yeah, the fountain, it looks like a Hershey's Kiss, and for me to do that, I need to add um, kind of a more gradual incline going up, I guess. So that's what we're working on here. What else is going on? I feel like there's something else I needed to t talk about. Oh, did I say like, comment, subscribe? Like, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, so I want to have this project done here within the next week because I do have another park I'm working on, and I'm really taking my time with it. It's kind of a passion project, like what my ideal theme park would be. Um, and I do have a screenshot of that over on my Instagram that's dedicated just to this stuff and all the roller coaster theme parky stuff. And I just actually uh, started using that the other day. So it's John Hall Media underscore. If you want to check that out, I'll be posting a lot more content and screenshots of these projects and then stuff from the parks once we get into the parks, which again, I'm so excited about. Carowinds dropped their Copperhead Strike uh, point of view. And I'm not going to lie, I was a little underwhelmed. It's kind of. She looks kind of sluggish, but I mean, granted, that happens with every coaster when they first, you know, start commissioning and running and everything, so we'll see if she speeds up, but she. Do, I don't think she'll be that sped up by opening weekend, but it'll be a good time nonetheless, <clears throat> and we're going to meet up with a lot of people and have a good time and get a lot of content. So one thing I'm doing here is instead of using the scenery paver paths, and for me, I don't know if anybody else who plays the game has this issue, but when you zoom out, they kind of, you know, fade away, and I know that's... Uh, I forget exactly what it is, but that's normal. I just didn't like how that looks, so I used the um, the windows and just flipped them, and they actually look a lot better for concrete slabs. So that's what I'll be doing here. But here's what we got done today, and it looks a lot more. It looks a lot better. It looks way more complete. I do have to finish up some smaller details on the supports uh, further back along the hammerhead and everything, like the footers and everything. But I'll do that off camera. Just you know, little tedious details. And yeah, it looks it looks gorgeous. I really do enjoy how this turned out. Like it just this shot right here is literally textbook what they put in the promo. So I made sure I got that in. The fountain looks great, but again, needs to be a little bit bigger, needs to be a little bit wider. But this is gen this is more or less what it's going to look like. I just need to expand it and make it bigger and have it kind of looking out over the water and everything. And I've yet to s decide on the functionality of this build if I'm going to be building a lot of usable paths and everything so guests in game can you know go ride it leaning towards probably doing that and we'll just you know address that when it comes time for the next video uh the plaza is going to go right in here got to do more work on the awning uh for the transfer track and everything but yeah this it looks good i'm very proud with how this turned turned out uh, my audio shit it out there for a second boys but i'm sorry uh this video is coming to an end don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This project is just nearing completion, and I'm going to do some more Value America work for you guys here tonight. So be on the lookout for that. I love you all. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe.